studio I'm Sally and in today's video we're going to be doing a little bit of shibori I haven't done shibori for a little while and I'm looking forward to getting into doing some samples shall we get into it this is what you're going to need today I've got some cotton fabric I've got some lollipop sticks I've got a roll twine clamps dark brown ripped dye and a little bit of rope so I've got my fabric and I'm going to do an accordion fold. You can see there's already creases in it because I've already ironed it um, just to get it all really straight. So we fold it over and continue like that. Like so. And then I'm going to fold this one in half. Then I'm going to get my lollipop sticks and I'm going to use three together so it's really quite thick and sturdy. I'm also going to put three sticks. So I've got my accordion fold again and I've ironed it and what I want to do this time is I've got my lollipop sticks and I'm going to put three here and another three directly so I'm putting them in the middle and then I'm going to put them at the back there make sure that they are lined up. And then I'm going to grab my clamps, pop those on. I want to be sure this is really, really tight. And then I'm going to do the same on this side. Also going to wrap some twine around it. Right for the next one I've wet the fabric and I've got my rope and I'm very carefully just going to roll the fabric with the rope. Yeah, I've pushed it down so it all crinkles up and then we just can tie. So here's my three. And so here's my fourth one. So I'm going to do the accordion fold once again, like so. And then grab your pick roll and you're going to twist that. So I've pushed all my fabric together, got my twine on and I'm literally just going to wrap that around. So now that we've got to this stage, what you need to do is just push. So I'm going to pop these into the dye bath now and I'm going to see how they go. I'm going to leave up to about 30 minutes. So 
So I'm pulling them out because I've been looking at the colour and I'm pretty happy with the strength of that colour. First up, I really really like this one it's so strong at that end and then just kind of fades away it's it's great I love it next one was this one Cool. It's really striking with the chocolate colour. It's like a positive and negative. It's brilliant. I really like it. Next up is the rope one. What do we think of this one? This could be my favourite. Again, it's just so beautiful, some of the shapes that are pulled out from the rope. Final one. So this is the final one, which was rolled around the pipe. So I hope you had some fun with me doing some shibori today and yeah I've got quite a few different dye colours that I could use so if you're interested in me doing more shibori do let me know in the comments that would be helpful and I hope you're all safe and well and looking after yourselves and I will see you in the next video. Take care.